I have taken 10,000 supplements by my estimate. I'm Robin Openshaw. I'm the green smoothie girl. This is what people do who become highly suspicious of pharma or allopathic medicine after some really bad experiences. We go to the alternative doctors if we have any issue and we take their pills and we assume that they're natural. Sadly, nothing could be further from the truth. We even give our practitioner a pass when we take 1500 bucks worth of supplements they sell us and we notice absolutely no evidence of being healthier, certainly not permanently, though some supplements can make you feel something. So we go back and we buy more pills, always looking for the pill that finally works. More likely how it works is that we just go to the practitioner to complain about something being wrong and we're sold some pills that we didn't at all go there looking for. But our practitioner says lots of sciencey sounding words and we think, well, I didn't go to medical school and this person did, so I'll buy the pills and take the pills. Have you seen this photo of the mostly solvents, slick, oily garbage that came out of my blood? This was while doing the inuspheresis blood filtration procedure in Switzerland in July of this year. It also filters out in this process glyphosate, heavy metals, plastic, so many other things. I have so many people DMing me that they want to go that I'm going to go back November 10th to the 24th. And I'll share the link about the upcoming trip below for those of you who want to go. So nobody in North America has in use yet. As far as I know, it's not approved by the FDA because nobody has it. So my photo of the first pass filtration, it's that smaller thing that looks like oil. And then the second pass is the bigger bag where the toxins are dumping into some water. It's similar to what I saw there at the clinic from others who did inuspheresis. So what came out of my blood is not better. It's not worse. Everybody else who did the inuspheresis had, you know, roughly similar results. So what the hell does somebody like me who eats a whole foods, plant-based, mostly organic diet for half my life now doing with a quart of jet fuel-like stuff in my blood? I have three toxic exposures that I can think of that could explain it, but let's talk about my number one theory is the massive number of supplements I used to take. Like I've done this an embarrassing number of times. I see a supplement in my house somewhere that I bought five years before, and I'm not really sure what it was for. Maybe I don't fully remember why I was ever taking it. I just wasn't getting results, so I forgot to keep taking it. So then when I find it, I just randomly take it till it's gone because I spent good money on that. And because I used to think, well, it's natural, and my functional medicine practitioner wouldn't sell it to me if I didn't need it, so it couldn't hurt, and it could be beneficial in some way. Well, with all my research, gone are those days, and gone are those beliefs. I've published a fair amount on this topic, and I'm writing a book. But Google my name and Substack and subscribe to my Substack blog if you want to learn more about this, and it just sounds completely crazy to you that these supplements... I'm telling you are made by pharma and are made by the chemical industry and your practitioner doesn't even know what the supplements he's selling are made of. So Substack is a free speech platform where I can talk about things that I'd never dare to take to my mainstream publisher, Simon & Schuster and other publishers that I've worked with. There's no way that they would publish my upcoming expose on how supplements are made by pharmaceutical companies and chemical companies that are actually quite toxic. So I'm going to self-publish this book, but in excess of 90% of the supplements out there on the market, probably more than 95% are made synthetically in huge facilities in two major third world countries with solvents involved in the process. So they end up in the product, even though they don't have to be listed as ingredients. My doctor in Switzerland says most of the crazy stuff that they filter out of the blood with inuspheresis that you saw in the photo, how petrochemical in nature most of that stuff is. She says it's mostly solvents that come out of people. Let me say this again. Your supplements are made mostly by pharma and chemical companies with petrochemical solvents. Write the companies that you're buying all your quote unquote natural pills from and ask them, can you tell me with certainty that no solvents were used in the manufacture of your capsule and the contents of your capsule. They likely just won't answer you. Their customer support reps don't know because nobody asked that. 
they don't have the answer to that question in the files that they work from. They should though, or they'll go ask their boss who asks her boss who says, yes, we use solvents. And the CSR is told to just ignore your email. Or they might answer you and just write some vapid, shiny word salad that they hope makes you go away. Or they might tell you the truth, that your natural supplements have solvents in them. And then they just qualify it by saying it's a very, very small amount. So I've had all these scenarios play out in my research. And I have whistleblowers um, on the inside or who used to work for these companies, pharmaceutical and chemical companies. So the solvents issue is by no means my only problem with most of the supplements that are out on the market today. The base materials that your supplements are made of are a conversation for another day. Let's just say they are not the fabulous fruits and vegetables that you think they are. Not at all. I honestly can't believe how many decades I went popping pills and assuming that I was covering some nutrient deficiency with pills made of something super valuable. Turns out I was wrong. And someone's going to ask me, okay, but what brand do I buy my supplements from then? To which, if you're still even listening, I just ask that you listen maybe a second time. When people ask me that, I figure that this is probably their first exposure to these facts and they're missing the point, which is that virtually every company, tens of thousands of them, are buying the quote unquote nutrients from the same couple of massive pharmaceutical and chemical company sources. Okay, I use the qualifier virtually every because I'm still looking for a company that sells, for instance, quote unquote B vitamins or quote unquote vitamin D or quote unquote vitamin C, which is ascorbic acid, which actually isn't vitamin C and more. I'm still looking for the one who doesn't get their raw materials in 40 gallon drums from Chinese and Indian chemical manufacturers. I have found one small company that appears to be using foods and superfoods in large pressed pills and capsules, but they repeatedly do not answer my emails about whether solvents are used in their product. I just can't get them to tell me. So what the label looks like and what trusted practitioner sold it to you with his name on the label is irrelevant. That's a matter of graphic design and printing. Please hear me when I tell you your doctor sold it to you because they don't know what I'm telling you. They haven't dug into the narratives either, just like you hadn't. A marketer sold it to them, and now they're the marketer selling it to you. It's the whole greater fool theory, right? Exactly zero of my colleagues will like that I'm blowing the whistle here. I have literally dozens of good friends in the health and wellness space who sell millions of dollars a year in supplements, and I've asked like more than half a dozen of them, if they know what their product is made of or even know what the source material is of the raw materials or if they've ever even been to where the product is made. And all of them admitted, no, they know nothing of any of that. If your holistic doctor sold it to you, either they don't even know how the product they're selling is made and what it's made of, or they found out about it after spending many years building up repeat customers that net them $10,000 a month or more. We're certainly not going to give that income up later when they learn about it. Many practitioners are making a lot more money on supplements than they are on seeing patients. I tried to talk to my own former hormone practitioner three times in two years about the quote unquote vitamin D she sells, and she just changed the subject in person twice and she ignored my email about it. So if the burning question on your mind at this point is still, then what brand do I buy? Please read my Substack blog. Just Google my name and Substack. And then within my blog, you can search on B vitamins or vitamin D or ascorbic acid, falsely called vitamin C or topics like that. I've written a number of blog posts on these topics. So I hope this is useful and saves you some money so that you're not full of petrochemical solvents like I was and that you do your own research before buying. In my case, it was probably $20,000 in supplements over the years that I wish I could get my money back and get that stuff out of my body. Thank you for following Green Smoothie Girl, and I will see you next time.